using Cat6 or Cat5 cable we're just going to show you how to put the ends on so you can make your own cables um, and run any cables in your house wherever you want to be so what you'll need is a boot you don't really have to have these you just make the cables look a bit neater you'll also need a RJ45 connection um, you need a pair of cutters and you'll need a crimping tool and if you want you could also use a cable tester which tests your actual cable after you've made it um, right I've done the first end already as you can see this is what we want it to look like we want it to have all the cables in the correct order we want it to have the cables right at the very end as you can see on the sides there and then we'll test it and with the extra boot it does make it look a bit more professional and a bit more better so the first thing you're going to do is, oh, I forgot to mention, you also need a cable stripper. This is a Cyclops stripper, it's so much better, really good for stripping cable. First thing I'm going to do is strip the cable, like so. Put it into there, like as much as you want. We do quite a lot for this so you can see exactly what you're doing. Once you've turned it around, you can strip off the actual shielding, cut the small little bit of cable that comes with it and then split the cable into pairs so you've got your greens you get your browns you get your oranges and you've got your blues get that out of the way and then what you do then is you strip them apart so they're all separate separate them and what I do is once they're separated I then just put a bit of pressure on them and straighten them out which makes it a bit easier for later on so I'm going to go ahead and strip all these down now. Just do this really quick. Oh, I the best way I normally find to do it is hold the bottom, get one of them, and then just go around. And it breaks up. And then once you've took them apart, if you just put a little bit of pressure as you're holding it, and then just straighten them out. Like I say, it just makes it a bit easier for when you go and crimp the cable. Finish these ones off. So in the end, you'll have eight cables, four pairs. You'll have the, I'll, the 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 configuration we're going to do is a straight through cable. So we're going to go by doing the white, orange, orange, um, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, and then white, brown, brown. That's the normal standard configuration for a straight through cable. So once you've got them all separated like so. You then start with the white, orange, orange. Then, so you've got the white, orange, there. So hold the bottom and just keep sort of pulling them tight. And what it'll do, it'll just straighten them out, make it easier. So, white, orange, orange, white, green. You don't use have to have to have this much, just, I'm just doing this just to show you. So, then white, green, blue. Then white, blue, green. So as you hold, as you pull them out, hold the bottom of your thumbs. And then white, brown, brown. So what you're gonna get is some long lines of this. So as you're stretching them out, it just makes it a bit easier. So what I'm gonna do then is one thing I didn't do first is it's always good to put this boot on first, so you don't have to mess around with the configuration again. So put the boot on first, normally. That's a mistake, always put the boot on first. So you're gonna go white, orange, orange. I'll do that again. White, orange, orange. White, green. Blue. White, blue. Green. And then white, brown, brown. You want you can double check after you've done it make sure it's all right then what i normally do my you get a nail's length to the shield so you've got a nail's length there and then get your cutters cut the cable make sure you're cutting it straight a bit straighter then get your rj45 connector keep holding here make sure they're on line still so white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Just double check they're all okay. 
put the boot on. And with you straighten them out, or well, they won't move, but if you didn't straighten them out, they'd have moved a lot. Put the boot on the end there. And after you've done that, what I would normally do then is check that they're all hitting the top here. So as you can see, they're right at the top. They're all at the top. And then I normally push the RJ45 connector down in the boot up. Get your uh, crimping tool, crimp it. Make sure the bit of plastic from the boot is sticking out. I usually crimp it two or three times. Once you've crimped it, swap that around. Give it a bit of a pull to make sure it's pulled okay. And then we can test it. So we've got both cables in there and we can test it. And as you can see, one, two, eight is working. It's connected, there's no short. If you really wanted to, you can give it a bit of a wiggle. Just double check and show that it's all working fine.